This is a Danger Entertainment Network podcast. Danger Entertainment.net. Danger Entertainment Network podcast. Adam and you, you would make the mend. <laughs> I sing in la 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 Merry on. Christmas, everyone. Merry Boxing Day, if you're listening on Merry Boxing Day. Merry Boxing Day. Or New Year's. Day. We're not sure. Merry New Year's. We don't <laughs> hey, really everyone. know when we're going to put these ones out. The point is, it's Christmas. Hello, everyone. Welcome to part two of the Christmas special. Yay! <laughs> and the award for odd uh, pronunciation of Christmas goes to Daniel Thompson. <laughs> oh, my Christmas. God. Christmas. We've had, we've had like, we, we're closing on 100 episodes. We'll be hitting 100 episodes not too far into next 100 year. episodes have, young. Yeah, I have, I have run out of uh, fun ways to say that intro. I'm just going to be putting inflections on different parts of it from now on, just to keep things interesting. How's everyone's Christmas going? Does anyone have any like Christmas traditions? Does anyone have any things that they always do at Christmas? Yeah. We always play a game called Grass, which I know that you don't really like, um, but I bought it years and years and years ago, and I think it's out of print now, uh, where you basically, it's a card game where you have to sell the most uh, marijuana. Christmas! <laughs> That's Such a Christmas, Christmas game. I know, Patricia. but it's one of those ones we play, and it's it's actually really, really fun, and it's not, it, it, it could be, you could be selling horses or something, and it would be the same principle. But Did you know really marijuana was a term adopted by, I think, 50s American government to uh, demonize Mexican immigrants? Uh, they changed it. They tried to get into usage over cannabis instead of, um, uh, to try and, yeah be all xenophobic and stuff and encourage people to do the same so they associate that thing which was like bad at the time reefer reefer madness with uh, Mexican people mm. is that right? yeah it has sort of Spanish root yeah. so they also yeah. used it uh, against the um, sort of black culture as well because it's like jazz and jazz cigarettes and all that kind of link mm. sends you mad all this kind of nonsense mm. a, little bit of, a little bit of racism history there <laughs> yeah <I guess. laughs> it's Christmas time nice. <laughs> what it's Christmas fuck tradition? racism what's uh, yeah. your favourite Christmas movie Trading Places Die Hard have you watched Trading Places in the last like 20 years Ah, oh, yeah yeah, um, it's, it doesn't stand up really. <laughs> it does. It's still. I, well, it I mean, does, but there's bits in it that you kind of, yeah. Well, die I mean, hard. I mean like Dan Aykroyd does black up. Like a good die few uh, what? 80s films. Yeah, yeah Dan Aykroyd does black yeah. up. Yeah. Jesus. But in it, it's it's sort of lampooning itself. It's supposed uh, to be really yeah, rubbish. That, yeah, Is it like it, Robert Downey Jr. doing it in Tropic Thunder? Oh, that. It's not that advanced. Like, no, you're not that. It's, it's, it's of, supposed you know, to be him to being a bit rubbish, and they get well. <laughs> so, I was about to say spoiler. The film came out in 1982. <laughs> um, Just a spoiler for James. <laughs> <laughs> they get they get found I out. Like Princess Bride they get found out. Um, Princess Bride. Isn't a Christmas film. Uh, no, I know. No, I'm just saying okay. that in the last episode we said that it was. Oh uh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh, and Ross said Die Hard twice, and some people think that Die Hard isn't a Christmas film. However, it is. It is. Do you know what? A few years ago, I watched. Um, what's that really famous one? That uh, black and white miracle. Um, it's a wonderful. No, no, it's life. a wonderful life. No, it's a wonderful life. What yeah, yeah. a terrible film! <laughs> <laughs> it's a dreadful, dreadful film. You it's all take about that. It's back. all about conforming and being a good little drone, and then eventually you'll get your fucking reward. It's bullshit. At any time, if he'd invested in plastics, he could have bought that town and helped them all out. If he'd just stuck to his guns, but he didn't. He used. And it's a good thing he didn't invest in plastics because look at the world we're in now. 2019, yeah. riddled with plastics. Thank you. It didn't Angel. make any difference. Yeah, but, but could it could have been worse. To help everyone. Nah. Yeah, it's one of it we just lost film. our link. We just lost our spirit. Gonna put link. it out there. Yeah. Also, don't. I'm not a massive fan of Home Alone. Ooh. No. Mm. 
Mm. Just mm. it's good. It's a good Christmas I film. I think if that's it's not on. the one that hasn't aged very well. Either. But like that you're kind like, of man, these, these parents are awful. Yeah, people. Awful, yeah, awful, yeah, yeah, yeah. awful people. And they do like, it twice. I feel like the Trump connection has tainted that franchise. Yeah, yeah. you know the Home Alone series, like four WrestleManias. Or I'm aware it's not the worst thing he's done, <laughs> but you know that's. I think that's a an unspoken uh, ill that's been done on the world that we can't enjoy those films anymore. Oh, I tell you what, another one that I rewatched that just is awful. That I thought was great when I was a kid. Scrooged. The yeah, amazing Bill that Murray, great, that great all that stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah. You watch it again; it just shouts. Everyone just shouts at the camera the whole film, <laughs> and it's. I got to the end, being like, "Oh my god! If anyone shouts at me ever again, I'm just gonna." It's just, oh, it's dreadful. I tell you, have you ever watched on Netflix a very Murray Christmas? No, no it's from keep, a couple of years ago. It I is Bill Murray doing a Christmas special where he is absolutely just taking money from Netflix and trying to make an awful Christmas show, and it is. It's really bad, and I think Bill Murray knows it to the point that you're not <laughs> sure if it's Bill Murray messing with you or not. It's great. You should watch it. It's a proper old school like Christmas thing, yeah. but bad. Right. Well, there you go, everyone. Some recommendations Christmas movies. For you it's there great, but it's are bad. Awful. Take <laughs> all of those Christmas movies uh, suggestions, set fire to them, and watch the Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's let's, the only Christmas film. Gremlin. Let's jump back in to yeah. our Christmas adventure. We are playing. My name is Inigo Montoya Jr., a variant of Goblin Quest by Grant Howitt, um, because we want to tell the story of the Gooden Avengers and their attempt to avenge the death of Uncle Gooden and find out who was responsible. Responsible for his murder. How is it going, good and Avengers? It's great. Yes, right. Varying levels of success. So, quite a few people are dead so far. It's, it's quite a high body count. When we left you last time, you were outside the Boots and Eyes shop. <laughs> Which exists. <laughs> Having gone to a fancy party uh, and uh, failed to make a sleigh, you fought some hobgoblins, you interrogated a giant with insects. So you're now in Care Marga, surrounded by, I think, three dead bodies. That's um, right, yeah. Lots and lots of, lots and lots of eyes. Um, and you've got some clues. You've got a, uh, you've got a new clue to look up on. Uh, and two new people are arriving. Let's just have a quick reminder of our two surviving characters who are currently here. I'm Jack Wilson. Jabber. I'm sorry, I'm Wilson Williams, the paper boy. Wilson Williams, the paper boy, and Jack Jabber. What does Jack Jabber do for a job? He's a bounty sniffer. He's a bounty sniffer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sniffs out the bounties and then gets someone else to do that. It's job. like an ambulance chasing lawyer. <laughs> yeah. It's a fixer for bounty answers. And that's a good bounty. Bouncy is going to sniff some bounties. And what's the I mean, clue? I'm talking about the chocolate bar. And what's the clue that you've just discovered? Uh, it he, was. He didn't wear socks. He yeah. didn't wear socks. Yes. Whoever it was who you're looking for, you'll know, you, know, uh, you know that they're a giant of a man. You know that they, uh, you know that they have eyes. boots and eyes and they cool don't back. wear socks. Fiends. An interesting thing. And you, as you're thinking about this, Two people walk out of the darkness. Who is walking out of the darkness towards our heroes? Hello. I am B Bapa Parapo. And I'm an eye polisher here in the boats and eyes shop. <laughs> Works in the boats and eyes shop. Uh, do you want to roll a, a dice and tell me how he's related? We'll find out how he's related. Three. A three? But the previous character was your teacher. Yes. Yo, Dub Dub Dub, who is a lieutenant in the Scatman, teach it to me how to polish the eyes <laughs> as a cover for working secretly as an Avenger of the Good One. <laughs> airtight. He's airtight. None of, none of his words sound like they've got full stops, so it's really hard to know when you're done. <laughs> Grammar is my anime. It's your anime. Yeah, I like witching the cartoons <laughs> from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I like Naruto. Oh, and who's his, uh, who's his friend? Okay, let me tell you. Okay, my name is Mr. Bump. Okay, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. everybody. Bump. How is Mr. Bump related to the previous character? He is five. Five? He's five. <laughs> He's five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Sibling or ha sibling, brother, cousin, half brother. You know, knock knock. He was a really weird guy, and he went into the caves a long time ago. And I thought I'd come here to find him, and I ended up at this boots and eyes shop, and I'm here to avenge my brother. 
Just so you know, Danger Links or Good and Links at the moment, wherever you are, Ross is also doing the hands. Just in case, <laughs> yeah. just in case hey, you're that's wondering. That's good for you to know. Yeah, Ross yeah, is yeah. doing the hands <laughs> as well. Absolutely. Whenever you hear the voice, he's doing the hands. But of whom? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's it's Bump, Mr. Bump. Mr. Bump, this is the most highbrow satire that I think you are going to hear over yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, our new good and Avengers, you are gathered around, you have some clues, uh, you have a lot of dead bodies as well. Um, what is next for the good and Avengers? Right. We need to find a sock shop where they wouldn't go, because they don't wear socks. Why are we looking for a sock shop? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah, why are we looking for socks? You are in the about now shop. So why are we looking for the bar? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, uh, is a fair comment on our spike. So, wait, we have socks here in the boat section. Right, well, let's, let's look in there. Uh, I'd like to try and open the door. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> So what was the clue we got just before? They don't wear socks. So they don't wear socks. So I shouldn't so have socks looking... up in the worst place. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> They've right. never been to a sock shop. Uh, so I'd like to open the door and get in the boots and cat shop. Uh, into the boots, boots and, and eyes. Boots and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> to look in the socks <laughs> section. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Me, my boots and I. Uh, that is a five and a two. A five <laughs> and a two. So I die. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you open uh, <laughs> you open the door uh, but too late you see the um, you see a sign on the door as you open it saying close for tigering uh, as you open the door <laughs> a tiger leaps out and mauls you to oh. death <laughs> however however you manage to ascertain in your death throes that there are no there's no sock section in the boots and eyes shop uh, and therefore you lied you will need to find <laughs> some other way I lied of finding it uh, you are you are mauled to death by a tiger um, who is now loose in the street uh, somebody else comes running out of the corner who is uh, it's okay I got this my name's Poodle Bumrush Poodle Bumrush is Poodle Bumrush a goblin by any chance yes Poodle Bumrush who oh, is oh the lover <laughs> 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 so Jack Jabber He has some weird Weird kinks So uh, He's my lover Don't judge me I was not judging you <laughs> Okay I think he's normal Sometimes I like to uh... <coughs> Why well, have I started this sentence? Do you like to <laughs> Yeah okay. Sometimes I like to like Lick the in? eyes that are Polish Do you want to run away From the tiger? Yeah. Ah, okay. I would like to throw an eye at the tiger. You throw an eye at the tiger. Mainly for the joke. <laughs> <Out of> the <laughs> Hang on, let me see if it works. Ah! A six and a towel. A six and a towel. Uh, you throw the eye at the tiger. <laughs> Worth it. Totally about it. Oh. It hits the tiger directly on the nose, which, as we know, is the weak point uh, of a tiger. <laughs> the tiger turns and runs away into the night. Um, you cheer. The sign falls off the shop and lands on you, uh, dealing one point of damage to Ow! you. Ow! It turns out in the game of eye throwing, I was not a very good piaupil. <laughs> <laughs> not a very good piaupil. Well, I don't know I what don't you're understand. saying. I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. Don't know, I don't get it. Uh, you have to see it through the lens of someone else. <laughs> Somebody oh, right, comes by and nails a sign, and nails a poster up uh, on the wall next to you, and then looks at you awkwardly and walks off. Uh, the poster is a wanted poster uh, with all of your faces on it, which is weird because some of you <laughs> only just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I literally well, just they're, came along. They're really I'd like fast. To go, they're Cyril really would like fast. to try and grab that guy and uh, ask him, who does he work for? Okay. Who do you work for? Uh, three and a four. A yeah. three and a four. Something four bad. A four and a four. A five a and a five. Four. Five, no, five, five and a four. four and a five, mate. <laughs> four and, and a five. It's a bit of stuff in like one of the owls, and it looked like it was a three to me. <laughs> what? That's a success. So there's some stuff. Four and a five. There's some stuff in one of the holes on the <laughs> yeah, five. Yeah, on the dice. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it looked yeah. like a three to you, <laughs> with four dots, mate. <laughs> it's Christmas. I'm taking your eggnog away. <laughs> 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 this is turned around. That was actually a successful thing. You grab the man. He goes, Who do you work for? I work for the Kimaga Police Service. I'm going to punch him in the face. Uh, <laughs> not anymore. 
six and a four. A six and a four. You punch him in the face and knock him unconscious. <laughs> Not anymore. Yao worked for Rose. Uh, He's unconscious now. He's unconscious. I just knocked him out. Okay. The police went out. They've not been able to report your position, but you can see now looking over the fence, you can see that there are guard groups patrolling the area. So you're going to have to be very stealthy if you want to make it. I, um, part. I oh. jump up onto a crate and address them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Go- what are you going to say? <laughs> okay. Okay. Everybody, calm down. Okay. Listen. My name <laughs> is Mr. Bump. Okay. I am the brother of Knock Knock, who was the rival of Robert Knox, who was the lover of Jimmy Nails. And you guys have killed my brother. And now, prepare to die. <laughs> it's so hard to know if he's hesitating, because that's just the voice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know whether to like jump in or not. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You may roll as many dice as you said names for oh, as wait. you attempt to attack the city watch. I think six, is it? How many names Wait. you got? Oh, How is it just the amount of names? Yeah. So I've got three. So, so three you roll dice. two dice anyway, and okay. then you add an extra four dice on top of that. Oh, sweet. To so attempt to battle the police. Oh, my God. I got, I got a five, a five, a three, a two, and a six. Uh, you survived. <laughs> you survived. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. This Mis- kind of replicates real life, really. <laughs> Mr. Bump dives into the middle of the city watch and comes back out just covered in blood <laughs> don't worry guys I got this you have wiped out this portion of the Kermaga city watch right. I take the poster off the wall and I swallow it you swallow the poster Yeah. roll, roll to successfully digest the poster <laughs> A five and a six. A five and a six. You <laughs> devour the poster. <laughs> oh, it's so good for me, Fibre. And you've cleared the guards out, meaning that you can pursue your investigation. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. I have connections to the underworld. Yeah, because I'm the a underworld. skunk whisperer. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to whisper to a skunk and get to tell me what's going on. Wait, how do you know that a skunk is like ear? Well, there's always a skunk here. <laughs> that was just you doing a different voice. Yeah, the call of the skunks. I was, I was calling the skunk. You call for a skunk. Let's see how successful you are at calling the, uh, calling a helpful skunk. Oh, two ones. <laughs> so it's successful, but I'm dead. <laughs> two ones and a five. You. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Please play the skunk now. There is a rumbling. <laughs> yeah, there is yeah. a rumbling. Yeah, right. uh, and there's a rumbling. The ground shakes and skunks come pouring from <laughs> every drain cover <laughs> and envelop the goblin, <laughs> tearing him to pieces before your very eyes until there is nothing but bone left. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> One of the skunks remains uh, and starts uh, and starts leading you um, to one of the uh, uh, leading you round the corner to where there is a uh, an empty shop that says we saw no socks. Wow, they 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 skunks. They like came from the ground. They like ate a person to death, and now one of them is lighting us. I think this is like a successful invasion. Cyril would like to try and kick the door. Oh no, sorry. Do we want to do the uh, let's, uh, You yeah. kick well, the door in. Yeah, no, you behind the door there is somebody waiting for you. Uh, first oh, of all, oh, try oh, and uh, kick the door in. Oh. Two sixes again. Two sixes. The door flies Jeez. from its hinges. Um, who is in the room? Hello, uh, my name's Malcolm Pushtedin. <laughs> what did you say? This is my shop, the P- 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 Malcolm Pushtedin. Oh, sorry Malcolm for kicking the door, Malcolm. I a long line. How's Sock. Malcolm Pushtedin related Sock to the goblin? manufacturers? He is a two. A two. <laughs> the goblin was your parent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm particularly well spoken for a goblin. <laughs> it's an affectation I've worked on for years. Oh, who's going to oh, tell him? Yeah. And let me get this straight. Yes. You sell no socks. No. What do you sell? No socks. Yeah, but like he's no, no socks no. is like the absence of socks. So, so people who don't like socks <laughs> come in here to buy no socks. See, but you you have no socks here. So what do you sell instead of the socks? So I sell the promise of no socks. Cyril's going to search for socks. Okay, you search for you socks. You won't find any. <laughs> <laughs> Four and a one. <laughs> 
<laughs> a four and a one. You get your hand stuck in the cash register. How many hit points have you lost? Uh, one. You've, you've already lost one? Yeah. Oh, the cash register <laughs> slams shot on your hand, severing your arm, uh, and you die <laughs> from excessive <laughs> blood loss. You've well, tarnished my shop. Your, your health and safety is so <laughs> off. Okay. Why are you covered in blood? <laughs> you murdered six peoples. Yeah, that's true. I have Do you murder the peoples? <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Look, we're trying to find this guy. Who are we? Are we trying to find? <laughs> <laughs> For yeah, some but... reason, I don't know, because I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Look, we heard that you sell no socks. Okay, mm. so we need to find you no find, socks. If you can find no socks in this shop, then. Uh, then it may well go well for you. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I, have, I have a list of my customers who come in to buy the promise of no socks. <laughs> uh, maybe we could look through the uh, list of your customers and we could uh, ascertain eh? who is the culprit of the killing of Uncle Godin. <laughs> very well. Yeah, very more and good more. idea. You go and have a search through the list. I'm going to look through the list. <coughs> go ahead. A four and a six. Four and a six, that's a success. And something good happens. You look through the list and you find uh, you find a, a list of customers with details about them. And next to one of the names, something particular jumps out at you. Um, what is the final clue? Ross. Okay, this clue, it says he's ginger. He's ginger. You find somebody listed in there who is a giant... Um, who yes. has who was noted as wearing boots <laughs> and having eyes I uh, like to and put, ginger hair who yes, came I like to, to the lots, lots of extraneous erroneous detail <laughs> about my customers on this list it is very strange yes what is this man's name the giant his what is, name what is the name of the giant <laughs> his uh, his name his name is um, is Giant. Unfortunately, you die, Dan. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you start. You stumbled yeah, over that. So that Dan, go new, back to your original character. New GM. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Bowman has well, to come you, in you and do this now. You're, you're about to start this character as Giant. <laughs> <laughs> like Giant Tom or something. Giant, yeah, right. no. <laughs> oh, Giant Tom. The yeah, imagination yeah, yeah, like boggles. Tom. That would be ridiculous. He's called Giant Peter. Giant Peter. Oh, Giant Peter. Uh, yes, Giant Peter. Um, he buys no socks from here all the time. Well, have it, is, you, you have an address for Giant Peter. Let's um, go. However, Let's as see. you're about to do that, the door swings open <gasps> and the tiger returns. <gasps> Oh. I have rolled a chase kicks off on the tipping point um, chart. Oh, shit. The tiger lunges at all of you and you all must run for your lives from the tiger. How do you all wish to try and evade this tiger? I'm going to jump out of the window. Jump yes. out the window. Go ahead. Uh, five and three. Five and a three. You jump out of the window, but the three is something bad. Another tiger notices you <laughs> jumping out the window and joins the chase. <laughs> shit bag. I got an idea. The thing you have to do with tigers is stick your finger up their ass. <laughs> That's what Mr. Okay, Bump's going to do. Go ahead, Mr. Bump. <laughs> attempt to finger the tiger. A five and a one. A five. I haven't suffered any damage. So. A five and a one. Yes, one. Oh, no, yeah, I did. Hit, yeah. yeah, I did. <laughs> I did ah, in the fight. You bitch, you're about to get impeached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is a success. Uh, it is a success. You put your hand up the tiger. However, unfortunately, you go too far. Your hand is too small and you are dragged <laughs> arm up to the ar elbow into the tiger. <laughs> oh, oh, the rest oh. of you watch as Mr. Bump disappears entirely into the tiger. <laughs> the tiger then looks a little bit unwell. Um, <laughs> sort of whilst, shakes his head and whilst, leaves. Whilst this happens, I'm going to uh, run up the shelves Matrix style and try and jump through the window as well. Okay. There I go. Oh, it's a six and a one. It's a six and a one. You leap through the window, but it is plate glass, not sugar glass. So Ooh. you cut yourself very badly <laughs> as you smash through it, oh. wishing you bought stunt windows. But you do make it through the window. Uh, the last person that is left in the room with the tiger... <laughs> Colin, what's the plan? I haven't even got a you're, character you're at the Because you didn't dead. introduce <laughs> me. <laughs> so, like, I'm just dead, oh man. Oh, God. All right. You've all evaded the tigers. Um, you've escaped them. Um, and you get round a corner where there are two new people waiting for you. Colin, who's there? <laughs> all right, mate. My name's Lee Ham. 
Yeah, Lee Ham. And I'm just like hanging around, just sort of fucking mad for it. Do you know what I mean? I heard some fucking tigers <laughs> round corner. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how is that must have been fucking mental. How is Lee Ham related to our previous? Uh, oh, editor? mate, he's number six. He's number six. That's uh, this new one. He was your best friend. <laughs> Oh, mate, he's my best mate. Do you know what I mean? Like William Williamson, that fucking mad. He just like took papers and I fucking loved it. Yeah. He's dead now. <laughs> I know. Yes. Yeah. I, well, I didn't know until you told me, but thanks for telling me, man. That's fucking sorted. Uh, you seem quite positive about the death of your friend. Yeah, I mean, it's a sad time, but like, it's what can you do? Sad. Yeah. Suddenly, somebody else enters. How do you enter? Who is it? you got to roll uh, with it. A uh, man. Uh, well, a uh, man. Pushes the door. He's got really scruffy hair. He just looks a bit of a mess. Hello, I'm Jonathan Rivers. <laughs> Jonathan Rivers and number five. Number is... five. It's a sibling again. You got a lot of brothers and sisters in this game. Mr. Bum is my brother. <laughs> he was more famous than me, but uh, I'm quite famous in my own right. I'm an animal wrangler, you see. Ah, possibly yeah. very useful. Oh, we could have really done with you just right then. But they've gone now. After what happened? Bizarrely swallowing a whole man. <laughs> up its... <laughs> what happened? What's going yeah. on? If you had listened closely to the tiger afterwards, you could have heard the sigh of the tiger. <laughs> the sigh of the tigre. <laughs> the sea hair of the tigranto. Great, so. All right, well, how are we going to get this, like, Uncle Gooden, like, the people that killed him, you know? We have I mean? got the name of Giant Peter, and we've got his address. Oh, Giant Peter, yeah, let's I, go um, find him. We're going yeah. to go and fucking kick his head in. <laughs> Follow me! Uh, I jump on the back of a random passerby <laughs> and start <laughs> smacking him. <laughs> All right, a one and a six. A one and a six. Uh, the uh, the man. Can I re-roll? Uh, yeah, I guess you're trying I'm to re-roll re the six. Yeah. Are you gonna re-roll the six? All right, six again. <laughs> it's a six again. You cannot help but succeed. You jump on a person. They punch you in the face. <laughs> you lose a point. Oh. But you successfully Were you trying to die then? <laughs> Because you rerolled the six and not the one. <laughs> You're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> you successfully wrangle the man um, and uh, some of his friends, and you are all able to mount a group of passers by <laughs> and ride them across Kermaga. Oh, this, this one's this a flighty one. one. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it's your oh, mad for it. Onward! Oh. You make your way to the home of Giant Peter. But unfortunately, the home of Giant Peter is not so much a home. It is a fortress. Uh, you can see it as a large tower in the Highside Stacks district. <laughs> giant Peter is a famously wealthy giant um, who has a great many giant guards who are also samurai. Uh, they're all standing around <laughs> outside uh, like a sort of samurai clubhouse. So, uh, so Malcolm uh, would like to square up to the, the, the guards. He says, My name... It's Malcolm Putlin, the son of Poodle Bumrush, who is the lover of Jack Jabber, who is the lover of Peter Dumvopper, who is the cousin of Count Echo von Muntard. You, Master, killed Uncle Gooden. Prepare to die. As he says that, I run up and push, pushed it in as hard as possible <laughs> straight into the samurai. <laughs> Let's see if you live up to the Nama. One, hang on, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not Did sure about five? this reading names of the paper thing. I'm feeling like this oh, is... Oh, right, uh, we shouldn't have... Uh, uh, really? How many... How I'm many feeling like that? this is the coward's way to play this game. I wasn't told that there wasn't a writing down thing. No, I never I've got, got six that. names on the list that. so far. Oops. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! I rolled a four. Yeah, that's something four, good. Something good. A five. A six, success. a five, a three, and a three. Oh my I didn't god! Take any injuries whatsoever. <laughs> I really got one hit point. Leaps into the group oh, of you. giant samurais. Oh, hey, uh, samurai this. And battles through them. How many? Uh, how many successes? Uh, so how many uh, fives and sixes is that? Fives and sixes. One, two, three, three. Three fives and sixes. Okay, that's three successes. <laughs> two good things and two bad things. Okay, you battle your way through the uh, through the samurai, 
who go and run at you. Uh, katanas held high. <gasps> you <gasps> leap around them. How do you dispatch all the samurai? Well, I use my non socks. So I use everything but socks. <laughs> <laughs> Hurling <laughs> items nice. of my clothing in their face, stuffing up their noses. Oh, <laughs> I push you over there. <laughs> and as you go, the last one, I jump up and push you into the last one. I rolled, I rolled a five and a one. A five and ah. a one. Ah! Uh, you jump into the last oh. one. It does some damage, but the last one spins around and lands on you, dealing, dealing an injury to you. Oh, this kills my. Oh, <laughs> you are dead. Oh, I died. Uh, I'm crushed to death beneath a giant. Jonathan Withers pushes the guy that I was riding in front of the samurai, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, you use the guy <laughs> as a Bonten. weapon. The guy that you were riding turns around and says, Hello, my name is Bob the Bodder. <laughs> I am a man carriage. <laughs> and I am related to... Five. <laughs> <laughs> you are related to them as... Oh my goodness. Uh, they're, they're your brother. They're your okay. brother or sister or all. He was my brother. And now Uncle Gooden... I very indirectly killed him. So now I will pledge my life to killing Uncle Gooden. That wasn't the speech. I'm not saying prepare. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I think we're here to, to avenge the death of Uncle Gooden. What? Not Pl- kill Uncle Gooden. He's what already dead. Fuck? Pl- oh, Pl- shit. Twist, you have an enemy amongst you. What are you going to do? Oh, <laughs> I punch oh, him mate, as hard as I can. Oh, mate, listen, I will punch you as well All inside right. of you your face. A, you both attack each other. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a two and a four. To three and a six. To three. Hey, don't hit my friends. I hit both of them. <laughs> oh my I mean, god! I'm already dead. Right. <laughs> two Liam and a four. would like to headbutt all three of them. <laughs> I got a two and a four. Oh, I'm dead as well because I took damage as well. One, a, I got a one and a two. <laughs> right. Who is? So you? How many successes did you get, James? Uh, I got one success. Uh, so, so I got a four and a two. A four and a so, a four and a two. So that's not. A, um, Malcolm pushed it. He's so dead. You managed to push him over, but then you are. Uh, but then you run. Um, straight uh, but then you uh, trip over and fall to the ground how many successes Scott? I got a six and a three a six and a three you kick uh, Malcolm pushed it pushed it in <laughs> you kick Malcolm pushed it in's head clean off his shoulders <laughs> oh, take this I'm very strong for man courage that you ride around great uh, leg day all time <laughs> but something but something bad happens oh no um, you realise that uh, the library book in your pocket is overdue Oh no! There's now a bounty hunter from the library hunting you down. Oh, this will. I, I hope I have three pieces of silver on me. <laughs> oh no, I do not. Oh, this is the worst. And then you're attacked by Ross. Yep. Uh, I got a two and a four. A two. Uh, and I took damage. I think before maybe. So I, th- I think I'm dead. Okay. Um, you. <laughs> Uh, you run over, but a pterodactyl picks you up and flies away with you into the darkness. <laughs> well, this was good for me. Uh, pretty good round. Uh, I get XP and shit. Uh. And who was it? Lee Ham goes to uh, Nut. Everyone to headbutt them. Lee Ham go goes to Nut. Whoever is left. Two me, and a one. It's just me. This is just a two and a one. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, Lee Ham headbats you, and his head splits in half, uh, and he, uh, his brain falls to the ground, and he collapses. <laughs> <laughs> on the floor Bob the Butter takes a beat looks around looks at everything looks at the bodies and goes yes I am invincible <laughs> <laughs> clicks a pen loads of times alright roll to click the pen oh, click it click click it click a two and a four the pen explodes and you're killed <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I have not taken any damage. Oh, One was okay. a success. Nice try, GM. <laughs> it blows your arm off. Oh, arm. oh, oh, I hope the bleeding does not kill me slowly. Better run inside the castle <laughs> <laughs> to stitch myself up. Okay. I, tra- I charge through the door. You run through the door, closely pursued by three more of the Gooden Avengers who come barreling in. Who will never the- catch me. What? Right. Uh, my name's Wolfie Chuck Nugget. I wasn't Wolf- asking. No, nah, well, I thought Chuck Nugget. It's, it's my thing, you see. I was, I was saying my name. I'm, uh, I'm free. You're free. You're the, you're the student of. Uh, yeah, Malcolm pushed it, and he taught me everyone I know about socks. He taught uh, you everyone you know. Nah, that guy. I hate socks. He hated them. Uh, follow me close you. behind is. Stop well, chasing uh, me. My name's Noel. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I'm just like you know. Uh, just gonna see what sort of relation I am. A uh, uh, two. Ah, uh, if you draw a five, it'd be perfect. I know. You are the you are the child of Lee Ham. I'm the child of Lee Ham. Yeah, my name's Noel, and I'm uh, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I uh, just just want to avenge. And finally, bursting through the door. Hello, dear. My name's Fatty Finlay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fatty Finlay, who is related to a four. A four? He was your rival. Yes, I, I bloody hated that. I bloody hated that Jonathan Withers. He is a right old fucking peckerhead. God. But don't worry now, he's dead. And hey, old boys, what are we going to do now? Come on, what are we going to do? I'm leaving a well, slew I mean, of blood on the floors in the hopes that you will slip over it. <laughs> oh, don't yeah. worry. I, I can I can patch that hole for you. Uh, I get a hot poker and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, try, <laughs> you, tries, <laughs> you grab a hot poker from the fire to attempt to cauterize the wound. A three and a four. A three and a four. <laughs> something bad and something good. You set fire to the curtains. The building is now burnt. <laughs> Burning. <laughs> Hold here. <laughs> but Hold manage, here. But you do manage to cauterize the wound. Oh, oh thank you. Good I'm night. confused as to the morality of you and me now. <laughs> so what we're going to do? We're in a burning building. Yeah, look, 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 this you torch is on we, fire. Yeah, we better so, leave. What are we doing here? All right, I'm going to run out of that, uh, you know, out of the back. I'm going to go warn Giant Peter that you're here to kill him. I run away to okay. try and find Giant you Peter. You attempt to run away to warn Giant Peter. Um, Snitches get hot pokers. All right, so make a <laughs> make a roll to make a roll to successfully escape up the stairs through the burning building. Four and the four. A four and a four. Two uh, two good things happen. Um, the uh, gigantic fish tank in the center of the room that uh, is used shatters, spraying water over the staircase and puts out the fire, allowing you to run up the stairs uh, away from everyone else. Right, Wolfie's running after him. All right, Wolfie tries to oh, chase him down. It's a six and a one. A six and a one. You run up, grab a hold um, of your uh, of the fleeing. Bob the butter. Bob the butter. You grab a hold of him and grab him, but the staircase gives way beneath you, and both of you tumble through it into the ground. He lands on top of you. You take a point of damage. Ha! Take that, landy man. Now I will stamp on your head to finish job. Take this. Oh. It's a one and a six. <laughs> it's a one and a six. You successfully stamp on his head, oh. um, killing <laughs> killing your assailant. Hang oh. on, hang on. Do I, what? Do I take damage from that? Uh, you got a six, yeah. so you oh, it's right. a success. Uh. In it. uh, however, the uh, however the rest of the staircase then collapses on top of you, uh, burying you beneath it. Uh, I am invincible. You are crushed to death. Damn that exploding pen. All right. <laughs> One arm. He was running from a flaming <laughs> staircase into it's an exploding fish tank. He was doing pretty good. I might roll him up as my main character for the DCB. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, right. So, uh, but that was a success at least. So something, I'm, I'm, I've stopped tracking success in the main quest because <laughs> they've all been against each other. These <laughs> <last>. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this game was designed with PvP in mind. <laughs> Noel's run out the back to try and see if he can find Peter. All right. Yeah. Uh, make, a, uh, make a check to see if you can find uh, Peter. It was a five and a two. A five and a two. Oh, Right, yeah. A five and two. So the two means you do take some damage. So as you run outside, yeah. the uh, the pet raccoon uh, that lives in the garden leaps up onto your face and just starts tearing at your face. Oh shit, my um, face! However, giant Peter is indeed in the uh, uh, is indeed in the garden. He takes off uh, and runs out of the garden, uh, jumps over a wall and makes and starts running to try and get into the next building. I shout out to them lot and just say, "Oh well, them that are left anyway." Oh, uh, there's Peter's this way. Come, follow me. It's only one of you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Uh, oh, yeah, come where you are? Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, come out here. Let's, yeah, come yeah, let's jump go. over this wall and that. All right, yeah, That's I've got to just try and jump over the wall. So we jump okay. over the wall. It's, you jump over the wall. Two and a five. A two and a five. A four and a one. A four. <laughs> You jump. Am over, I dead? Uh, you are dead. You oh jump, shit! Uh, you jump over the wall. Unfortunately, there is an enormous hole on the other side, uh, which um, Noel just plummets into and disappears out of sight. <laughs> um, oh gee, Jesus! You land on the edge of it and manage to uh, haul yourself out, but you are badly hurt. Um, oh but, bloody hell! Uh, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, three more people come running around the corner. Who comes running around the corner? Uh, Chappy Whatnot. Chappy Whatnot. Yes. How's, how's Chappy Whatnot related? Oh, he's um, he's a two, two parents, yes. uh, child of. Oh yes, I'm the son of Wolfie Chuck Nugget. Hey, how's it going? I'm Belibba Babby, Belibba Babby, and I got a six. Belibba Babby, Belibba Babby, best friend. Yeah, I was a best friend of Papa Bud. I never trusted him, though. You know, he's got all these things that he wanted cool and good, and he's got he's fucking legs, and he's real good with one arm. Yeah, I, I was uh, his best friend. 
All right, boys. Let's just let's just. I'm have, a raccoon trainer. I, wait, hold on. Let's just wait. I trained that raccoon. Look, let's just catch up with the story. We're going to get to, we're going to go kill that uh, giant fella. All right, let's do it. It's right. P- 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 one more giant. person to arrive. Yeah, let's not yeah. keep forgetting about Colin. Oh, wait, who's that over there? It's twice now, Dangerlings. Who's that over there? Oh, I hello. Guess, uh, oh. Uh, Hello, my name's Sandra. Sandra Booz. <laughs> what you got to say about it, yeah? And I was one. One, the lover or spouse? I was the lover of Noel. Oh, I loved him. Oh, I loved him, good you bastards. Come on, let's go and find them fuckers. All right, let's go, boys. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's go kill a dragon. Uh, yeah, I'm all let's go. Yeah, this is going to be the something. final team, I bet it. <laughs> Sandra Booze. Yeah. Balipa Babby, Balipa Babby. I want to tell you, you're on six successes. So Ooh. you are getting close to your goal of succeeding in the final fight. Yeah. Sandra's going to chase after Peter. Yeah, we're all going to chase. Well, no, we're all chasing him, aren't we? You chase yeah. after Peter. You can see he's run uh, through a doorway in a building next to where his house is. Um, and the door has swung shut. You Ow. open the door and step inside, and you are in a hall of mirrors. <gasps> Oh, bloody hell, I can't see. You, you, you uh, can see. There I mean, are. Open your eyes. No, I mean, like, oh, I yeah, that's see loads right. of me. I look <laughs> great. I, was, I, was, I had my eyes closed, that's why. <laughs> Looking around, you can see re- you can uh, see reflections everywhere. Yeah. Ho, 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 from inside. Uh, Shabba the Hutt, where is he? <laughs> you, see a, you can see reflections of a giant. Uh, he's wearing boots. Uh, he has loads <laughs> and loads and loads of eyeballs on a necklace around the thing. He has a big... <laughs> bushy mane of ginger hair and, and he's walking like his shoes really rub because he's not wearing socks <laughs> uh F- Faye Finley is gonna run full pelt into like what like one direction okay <laughs> are they there as well <laughs> <laughs> you run full yeah. pelt up one direction a two and a five a two. and that means I'm dead <laughs> You char- you jive right into the middle of One Direction, who swarm over you. Uh, One Direction carry you away, and um, and you are dragged off into the darkness to become a part of the band. That's oh, how they get the new worst. members. Is yes, there a yeah. smashed mirror? Uh, there is now a smashed mirror. There's broken glass on the ground. Sandra Booze would like to uh, grab a massive piece of that broken uh, mirror and run to the direction that they think Peter is in okay. uh, to slice him round oh, right. the you make face me, you try and smash the uh, try and smash the mirror well I'm going to pick up this mirror and I'm what uh, I thought I was picking up a broken bit yeah of you got a broken yeah. bit of mirror you try and I'm smash pick up a bit. broken bit of mirror and smash around here five and a five a five and a five those are successes you smash into it. It's another mirror, but it but it creates a chain reaction which cracks all of the glass. The glass collapses around, uh, revealing standing in the middle of the room is giant Peter. Uh, he draws uh, he draws an enormous sword from his back uh, and pulls a lever which floods the room with lava, leaving only little stepping stones around it. He says, "I knew this day would come." <laughs> <laughs> On uh, from. Oh. From one of the uh, from one of the sides, uh, a man jumps onto one of the stones. Uh, All right, bros. My name is Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> and my, I've got three. You got the three. Uh, t- it's, t- it's student again. <laughs> You're the student. Of- Fatty Finley was my student, and uh, this giant he <laughs> killed him. So I'm going to kill him now. Right, so Chappie Whatnot would like to charge at uh, Peter, the gi- giant Peter, giant and Peter. try and twist his nuts off. Oh, okay, just, just going for a regular roll against giant Peter. Oh, it's a one and a six. It's a one hey, and a six. I'm going to pull your nuts off. You grab a hold of one nut. But oh, he it's massive. To, but he punches you with his giant fist. Ooh. Um, he's a powerful off. foe. He looks oh. like he's going to need a lot of uh, successes. To Don't worry, you. bro, I've got this... But- my name is Leonardo DiCrapio, student of Fatty Finley, rival of Jonathan uh, Withers, brother of Mr. Bum, brother, knock knock, and rival of Robert Nuss, and lover of Jimmy Nails. Across and the uh, <laughs> lava bursts up from the ground as you jump and just engulfs you. And there's a skeleton hey. left, and you tumble into the lava. He is dead. Sandra would like to throw that bit of mirror that she's still got in her hands at 
Uh, your man. Uh, my name is Sandra Bose. I am the lover of Noel, who was the child of Lee Ham, who was the best mate of Wilson Williams, who was a student of Cyril Bellamy. Yeah! <laughs> um, didn't do the speech. Didn't do the speech. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> I think I beat it. <laughs> oh, I fucked up! <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you immediately have a heart attack and collapse. <laughs> Excellent. Another dead. Belit Babali, Belit Babali pulls out the two raccoons that he's been having because he's a raccoon trainer spins them around poi style and goes oh yeah oh yeah Peter you want some of these try some of these raccoons I got some raccoons for you right here buddy and flings them both at Peter, giant giant Peter alright go for the, go for a raccoon attack it's a six and a three it's a six and a three one of the raccoons latches onto his face and does some damage you're starting to do some real pain to him but a three is something bad happens all of the ground uh, that you're standing on apart from where Peter is in fact where Peter is as well that's fun it all collapses into the lava you oh, leap no! up and have to grab onto some rings that are hanging from the ceiling <laughs> you're all <laughs> hanging on rings from the ceiling uh, as he well, swings swords at warrior. you right. oh my god so if so you don't have a character, feel free to burst in at any point. Chappy, Chappy Whatnot would like to swing on the hoops uh, towards uh, the face of Giant Peter and say, uh, I'm Chappy Whatnot, the son of Wolfie Chuck Nugget, who was a student of Malcolm Pushed in. Oh, no, we don't know. Uh, what? I don't know if you're picking that up because you won't say anything to the microphone. Oh, right. Okay. We'll cut that. <laughs> oh, will we? Will we? Because <laughs> well, I think well, that was a hesitation. Yeah, you oh, died. Yeah. 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 Scott making the sex Dan, motion Dan at Dan my face. Dead. Yes, he's dead. He's, he's, well, you, that was fair. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you swing towards him when the uh, uh, when you look out when the ceiling suddenly opens and you see a portal into another world where somebody makes a sex motion at you. <laughs> it distracts you and you fall into the lava. <laughs> oh, that really wasn't my intention, <laughs> but Thanks, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Bursting uh, from the, the, wherever the fuck we are, uh, You're a room is, full uh, of lava. Yeah, with rings. Uh, is a man, uh, and is number two. Number two. Is that just your character now? Child, just a man. Man. child, well, the child of the previous Hi, character. I'm Tom Hanks. <laughs> I'm Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio's my. my <laughs> Leo, do you die. <laughs> yeah, Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio's <laughs> my. my you couldn't even do the first one. <laughs> you couldn't even get through the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Belit Babi, Belit Babi, watching people turn up and die. Uh, <laughs> monkey rings across the rings and tries to scissor, uh, scissor kick, grapple um, Giant Peter with his thighs. You attempt to scissor Giant Peter. <clears throat> Yeah, you better, you better take this. I did fucking arms day today, yeah, you little bitch. I'm going to fucking own you. I'm going to wear you like a glove. Like a glove on my goddamn feet. And I'm going to put my raccoons inside you. And I'm going to eat your eyeballs. And I'm going to polish those eyeballs. And you're going to do all the things we mentioned in this adventure so far. And a four and a six. A four and a six. You managed to dislodge him from the uh, from the ring and he tumbles backwards catching his foot in one of them and he's left hanging helplessly just above the lava god damn it this guy's so glad it is too uh, uh, what do you want please spare me hello my name is Balipa Babi Balipa Babi the best friend of Boop Bada who was a brother of Bee Bop Bop Bada Boo who was a brother of Yo Dub 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 who was a brother of Yo Dub 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 who was a ward of Skibby Dibby Dib you killed Uncle Gordon prepare to die nice Ray roll so many dice <laughs> one two three four five six plus the one I've got or plus the two, two. that you're rolling so oh yeah. shit I, I need eight, eight in total two six two four oh five six one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one more. Thanks. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Oh, oh, I'm going to get right up inside you. Okay. Oh, my God. There's a one there. Uh, so, <laughs> there's a lot of ones. Okay, so yeah, six, that's six. That's, that's a one, actually, I'm afraid. Oh, <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, it's two sixes, uh, a four, uh, two twos, a three and a one. A three. Uh, two ones. <laughs> the entire room collapses into the lava. Um, and collapses on itself uh, amongst the rubble. <laughs> Three of you are dead, aren't you? 
Do yeah. any of you yeah. know? Yeah. Tom yeah. Hanks is alive. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Today he touched straight away, didn't he? No, I didn't say I didn't. He touched straight away. Oh, you weren't doing the speech. No, I was just saying, hey, I'm Tom Hanks. Oh, we could all get away with that, couldn't we? I mean, I'm happy for him to die. I don't care. Wow, you just death threatened Tom Hanks. We got Tom Hanks. There goes our Twitter following. Cheers. He is a treasure. Yeah, man. How very dare you. How very dare you. Bill Murray, what's the matter with you? Unbelievable. So you uh, uh, you find uh, Tom Hanks. You emerge from the rubble of the building oh. where Giant Peter was uh, was destroyed to find three strangers waiting for you. <laughs> Hello, uh, <laughs> my name is Ben Benson. I am the um, number one. Number one lover again. <laughs> Lo- lovers. Mr. I was Lo- the lover of Sandra. Sandra Booze. <laughs> Wasn't Sandra the lover of some of No. That's right, yes. We were all lovers. But we didn't talk about it. Hello. Yeah. How about you? I'm Stroppy Wigwam. And I'm the two. <laughs> two, you are the child of I'm the child of Chappy Whatnot. So there. It's a lot of generations going on <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it's a lot of generations. It's a lot, a lot of generations. Loving. It's a bit bit inbred, to be honest. Hello. I'm the scared man. You're the scat man. Five. And you are the brother. And I'm the brother of Belipa Babby, Belipa Babby. And if I can do it, so can you. Hey! So you have the. You're standing up atop the ruins of Giant Peter's House of Mirrors and Laugher. Um. Yeah, it's Tom a nice Hanks. combination of one. <laughs> Tom Hanks jumps into the lava. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what have you got against Tom Hanks? How dare and you? Didn't he what do that, that in a that? film? Didn't, isn't there actually a film? No, he's he did that Terminator. in Terminator 2. Terminator 2. <laughs> and Tom that Hanks. Tom Hanks. No, 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 no. Have you been spoken I'll be something? back. There was a film in the 80s called like Joe and a Volcano or something, and Tom Hanks jumped into a volcano, I'm sure of it. Was this did a he? dream you had? Yeah, it might have been a dream. Tom Hanks. Uh, sibling. So Tom Hanks Anyway Tom Hanks that. leaps into the lava He makes it charming You're all uh, you're I'll all be weird. back <laughs> Well what she gets Well no. Toy Story 3 <laughs> There you go Yeah he does In Toy Story 3 Yeah he does No I mean, he doesn't jump into the lava <laughs> yes, he's he in does. The, he's in That's big... the deleted version The right. ultimate ending Where they all slip <laughs> yeah. into the garbage burner Whatever that thing is uh, That is a film called Joe and the Volcano From oh. 1990 Where he's dying And it's good news Because he can chuck himself into a volcano There you go Fair I knew. Enough. I definitely knew that Fucking reference Tom Hanks Yes he, he really can do anything Can't he So you're standing amongst the rubble of the house, a group of people who were, who sort of know the people who went before them, um, and uh, but have arrived too late to har- particularly influence this battle. Uh, however, there are uh, all sorts of um, bits of rubbish and rubble lying around. So, how are you going to finally find out the clues that you're looking for while looking through all of this mess? Uh, wait, rubble. Well, we the case is solved. Yeah, uh, we the rubble. To kill giant Peter, didn't we? We got him. Uh, out the, the man rubble. who killed Uncle. Uh, another yes. person comes out. Hello there. I am Sybil. Sybil and it's five. Sybil the brother Sybil the sibling. Is Tom Hanks is my brother. <laughs> and I will exact my revenge on anyone who took him out. I'm Wait, the your, name's, man. your name's Sybil Hanks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a funny name, isn't really. it? How dare you? I slap you in the face. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Turns out Hanks. Six Banks. and a four. I mean, I'm six and a child. <laughs> <laughs> You're that's nothing a, like your brother! Ow! That's a successful slap, child. Oh, you hit from, me! From the Hank sibling. Oh. Take this! It's Christmas, Mr. Hanks! <laughs> I wish your brother had locked up to the lava! Be quiet! You're awful! I kick his crutch away. What? You, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> crutch away? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> you said two contradictory sentences there. Yeah, man. I think he's imagining no, like a little it's not tiny, tiny Tim. No, I have got a crutch. Tim, yeah. no, I no, it's my crutch. personification. Okay. Yeah. Very well. If you I don't have a crutch, then I'll kick your crutch. <laughs> I give him a crutch kick and then I kick it away. <laughs> Are we still standing on lava? No, five, the five and a one. A five and a, a five and a one. Uh, you give him a crutch, you kick it away, he dies. <laughs> Because that's two points of damage. Oh, you just killed a kid. 
I'm a scat man. And I roll, uh, I, I just charge uh, Sybil Hanks in, in fury at what I've just seen. Okay. I like to rugby tackle them into the ground. All right. It's a four and a one. It's a four and a one. You kill Sybil Hanks. Ah, uh, oh, you bastard! I'm and a you, scat man. And four is something good, which I think is that Sybil Hanks is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Definitely the unknown brother of Tom Hanks <laughs> who likes to kill children. <laughs> <laughs> so among ah. crippled children no less <laughs> at Christmas <laughs> oh, among all of the among the rubble um, lying around here you find um, uh, you find a stack of papers uh, and you have oh. a look through them stack of papers here <laughs> <laughs> thank you uh, among these it's all right. <laughs> just doing some extra commentary <laughs> Let's have a look, Ben, this. Ben, Benson. Let's go and have a look. Let's have a look then. These papers say... <laughs> the, pa- <laughs> the papers say... Uh, the papers reveal that uh, Giant Peter worked as part of a conglomerate that produced um, that produced instrument cases with fake bottoms for uh, to them. Uh, and among them, you find that a, uh, you find that a fake base case with a fake base inside it, uh, was sold to a group uh, who were att- uh, told to a group uh, who were going to be attending a party as a band that at Uncle Gooden's house the night that Uncle Gooden was murdered, and that group are called the Danger Club. <sighs> I'm the scat man. We just found out something here about this group. Uh, who's left? Just me, I'm the scat just man. Ben, just Ben Benson. I'll keep looking at Ross, he's man. dead. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm dead as well. <laughs> Having been butchered by Sybil Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> out, of the, out of the darkness, does somebody else want to arrive? Yeah, why not? Okay. Hello, my name is Michael Caine, and I am <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, you're not Look three. pretty well for that, mate. <laughs> Michael Kane, uh, you are the you are the student of <laughs> you were taught by Sybil Hanks. Sybil Hanks was my student, and he taught me everything I know <laughs> about acting. He was your student, and he taught you. <laughs> you were supposed to be teaching Sybil Hanks, but you learned from Sybil <laughs> Hanks. We all can learn from other people. Good to know. I I have the come out of the booth. Uh, my name's Oopty Monkfist. <laughs> Oopty uh, Monk Fist. Oopty Monk Fist is two. Oopty Monk Fist. I don't know how this works, yes. but the street urchin who just died yes. was your father. Yes. <laughs> I'm very young. How I'm, old are you? I'm very young. Oh, he was very old. He was actually, it was the great, it was the great uh, 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 con by my father. He Did was he actually Benjamin 40, Button disease? 47 years old, but he, um, <laughs> he portrayed himself as a street urchin long before, after he should have done. Yes, Benjamin that's stripey done. wigwam, quite the con artist. <laughs> and I am it seems as though my student has blown his bloody doors off. Uh, Who's so your student? You have that some... I ma- <laughs> mean, <laughs> Sybil Hanks? The yes. scourge of the city. Uh, the scat man uh, gets bored and throws a spear at Michael Caine. <laughs> Go ahead and... Uh, Ooh. It's a six and a two. A six and a two. You wound Michael Caine. Um, Bloody hell. But are wounded in the process. Go on. Say it. Say, Say the line. Say the line. Say it. Say it. Say the line. Say it. <laughs> reason to set you up a Zulu walks over looks at Michael Caine <laughs> rolls his eyes picks up the spear and throws it back at you injuring you <laughs> and, I'm just... a sc- and I die <laughs> he walks what off what is the line you wanted me to say don't, don't throw, throw those, those bloody spears, spears at, at me. me oh yeah shit <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking hell the bad. only other line that <laughs> yeah, he's that really he's for. good in Avengers I think you have some useful information that maybe you can take back to base I think this is useful information we can take back to base and Moose turns up and offers to give them all a ride on his massive massive Moose back come on on, then then. Moose you mount the Moose the Moose rides you back uh, the moose, oh yes, the moose who is loose, who is the brother of, of the scat <laughs> or sister, uh, 
I feel the family resemblance. <laughs> Come on then, Moose. I try to Hello. usher. I try to like get him to like go get faster. Off. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't even don't ask my like name. Like six and six. <laughs> a six and a six. You spur the moose speedily. Don't do oh, oh, you got me right the kidneys. Oh, oh. The moose carries you back I've through the, my name. through the fancy party, through the half light path, through the uh, the long grass, oh, and this. back to Uncle. Uh, back to the uh, the ranch. Uh, where there is uh, snow on the ground and there is merry music playing and you open the door to the smell of eggnog inside uh, and you can see Ed Johnson and Hound have laid out a great feast uh, for everybody. Um, I can't ah, let you're that. all back. Wait, no, no, you're not. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you guys? I got no idea. Uh, my name <laughs> is Michael Kane, and I approve you. I ask you look, I, I didn't really... Ed, did, did you hire all these people? I didn't hire these people. Yes, you did. My name's Ben Ben Benson. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Yes, you do. You know exactly who I am. I don't know who you are. <laughs> we sort of inherited the contract from the people who came before. Oh, I and, see. And we found this moose <laughs> who rides as fast as the wind. My name is... <laughs> Well, come on in there. <laughs> that was my mother's name. <laughs> That's so beautiful. It reminds I think, me of her. I think we should end with a song called Thankful Heart, maybe. Shall we all sing it together? Well, I don't know that song. I, I had no I idea no what idea. you're talking about. Is this by way of the direction? Can you, can you know what you, you're talking about? Can you tell us? Could you? So did you find anything? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. What did you find out? We, so we found, found some out information. the person that sold the case... Was the person we killed, I think. No. 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 I was that's only there for a little bit. That's not no. good. So, so. Uh, oh, bloody was, hell. Hang on. Uh, Basically, what we Michael found out. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. There was crack, a, uh, breaks his own neck. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> it's better this way. <laughs> so, I think we found out that there was a case. In a case that was sold to people at the party. Some people are at the party. Yes, they were called the Danger Club. Yeah. Ooh, the what? Danger yes. Club. What? Why do you keep saying your name? <laughs> That's not my name. <laughs> it's my mating cry. Wait a minute. Oh. Did you? Did you guys? Good, we? <laughs> Shut up. Whoa! It's Christmas. Did you just say the Danger Club? Yes. Who are they? They sound very dishy. So you're saying you're telling me that that the Danger Club? Killed Uncle Gordon? No, well, no, they had a case at the party. The Danger Club Was killed Uncle Gordon. Ah. Uh, uh, this. Um, Ed Johnson kills, um, Ben Ben Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Out of pure rage. <laughs> That's a six and a five. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. That's lucky because Ed Johnson's a character we'll hang on to, so rolling dice is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah. changed our main show though. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You killed Ben Benson. The, the we moose. didn't need him anymore. <laughs> the oh. moose realizes what's happening and, stre- and stress milks itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm both horrified and aroused. Maybe not down the arouse. Uh, yeah. yeah. no, I mean, no, um, I was going to say, I'll eat one some of food, the many doors open. Well, all right, one of the many doors opens and someone else comes in. A oh. pigeon flies in the room. <laughs> Ooh, hello! <laughs> the moose immediately charges at it with his antlers. <laughs> Ooh, S- two sixes. <laughs> you crash through the wall with the pigeon. The two of you battle out into the street. Immediately kills the pigeon. <laughs> two hit points. <laughs> uh, <They're>, uh, <laughs> uh, you are left uh, with just it's just you, James, left in the room. Right. With, uh, <laughs> Should we eat? After all, it is. Winter mass fell uh, time. The uh, one of the doors opens. Oh, uh, there's so the, many doors. Uh, a ma- <laughs> there's a lot of doors, huh? Yeah, it's good. I love doors. Sounds so badly trying to end this. I like. know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring this home. Come on, bring it home. The, Finish it. The pigeon and moose battle in the snow <laughs> outside, <laughs> and the body of <laughs> of beep, people who Ben 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 Benson, ben Benson lies. Pooling blood on the floor. Uh, a door opens, uh, and a man with slick back hair and a black beard walks in. It is Creel. 
the major domo of Uncle oh, Gooden. Shit. He, he sits down uh, and starts to carve the turkey uh, and looks to uh, Ed Johnson and Hound and says, Yes, let us eat. And after that, it is open season on the Danger Club. Merry Christmas, everybody! Oh, That's right. Merry Christmas. Somehow, this story is canon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pay attention. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas time, time. Mrs. Ernwine, peeling, killing, moose in the sky. <laughs> With Danger Club on the run again, and, and Ben Benson Creel. on the floor. <laughs> Tom Hanks has a brother that we now- don't talk about anymore. <laughs> yes. oh, guys, thank you so much for listening to that. If you enjoyed this game, this this ridiculous game, you can find all of it and even more games uh, in the book Goblin Quest by Grant Howitt. I think you will be able to find it on Amazon. Grant Howitt is an amazing game designer. His um, pre-order for his new RPG Heart is available right now. You can go and find that. Do you want me to say that again? I mean you when you were doing the thing with Creel ding, ding, clang, clang, clang. Doing like the sign off of the game. I won't oh. be able to get rid of that. Got to love a little drink. Oh, 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 I've played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different characters. Yeah, get yeah. fucked because I've been two, one, two, three, five, four, six, seven, five, eight, six, seven, eight, seven eight, Merry nine. Christmas, motherfuckers. Nine, 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 yeah. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. If you liked that ludicrous game, uh, then you can find adventures like that and many, many more in Goblin Quest by Grant Howard. It is a brilliant game. You should be able to find it online. Uh, You can find lots of Grant's other games as well. His new game, Heart, is currently in pre-order at the moment. So go and look up Heart. It's the sequel to the game Spire. If you played that, uh, it's uh, crazy body horror, dungeon crawling. It is madness. You will enjoy it very, very much, uh, I am sure. And come back and join us next week or in a few days whenever we've dropped this episode <laughs> as we get back and find out how the Danger Club are getting on in Tamron while they deal with the uh, cult of the living god and now the fact that Creel and his really like body count heavy army <laughs> um, are going to deal with what happened back in Care Marga. Have an amazing Christmas. Thank you for being with us this year, everyone. We will see you next year. Happy Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Christmas. everyone. 2020.